Lead code is cooked and I'm here for it. This guy just built an AI tool that lets you cheat in your FANG technical interviews and he used it to get offers from Amazon, Meta, and TikTok. He's a 21 year old South Korean that is going viral on Twitter right now. His name is Roy and here is his uh, profile. And this is actually, okay, so uh, after he got the Amazon offer, he told them to basically, he's not taking the offer and he told them to go kick rocks. <laughs> And yeah, they were not a fan of it. And they tried to contact his uh, his university to get him basically kicked out. Yeah, that is uh, that is how badass this uh, this tool is. And here are all the places that he got offers from. Uh, Capital One, Amazon, TikTok, and Meta. And this actually, this whole uh, debacle got him banned off LinkedIn. I, I don't know about that. Hmm. I don't know why LinkedIn is involved in this in this mess. It is none of their business, but hey, it is what it is. So anyway, here is the tool. It is called interviewcoder.co. Yeah, and the tagline is F lead code. <laughs> the most impressive thing about this website is this, is this title right here. So easy, even worker 17 can use it. If you don't get this reference, I am sorry, you're not, you're either not terminally online on Twitter or you're, you know what? I'm not going to explain it. If you know, you know. Anyway, so here is, uh, okay, here's a, a quick demo, but I just want to show you this. So it is an overlay that basically uh, reads off your screen and gives you the answers to the technical questions that you're being asked. And it is undetectable. Like, they cannot see that you are using this app to actually cheat in your technical interview. This is what it looks like. So basically it is an overlay that has all the answers. All you have to do is copy copy the lines of questions, <laughs> the answers one by one. It even has comments that you can just read off to come across as knowledgeable. Man, this is next level cheating, man. This, this, this is insane. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Personally, I like it. And he made this video going over his a technical interview with Amazon and just show, showcasing how he <laughs> he cheated <laughs> he cheated he cheated his way into getting an offer from Amazon. Yeah, this 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 is insane. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna link I'm gonna link the website, his uh you know uh, Twitter profile and this video in the description box. You can go see it for yourself. And his acting is actually amazing. He's acting like he's struggling, even though he has the answers right there in front of him. Yeah, this is a this is an Oscar worthy performance that he put in here. It is amazing. <laughs> and by the way, this tool actually went viral. Um, interview coder went viral, and that he's pulling in $1 million in annual recurring revenue in just two months. I think this explains why he dropped out of Colombia <laughs> and why he doesn't really care about getting uh, blacklisted from all these fan companies and the whole, you know, the whole university debacle that he went through. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is, this, this guy is a Chad in my book, but it's also, it is also a risky, ballsy move. I respect that. I respect that. Anyway, I'm making this video to let you know of this unethical, immoral AI tool that lets you cheat in your technical interviews and land FANG offers. Please do not use it. I do not condone cheating or doing anything uneth unethical or shady. Please do not use this tool. As someone who has never solved a single lead code question or interviewed at a fan company before, I have no dog in this fight. But I'm very curious to see how this is going to change the interviewing process. Are fan companies going to basically eliminate lead code? Or are they going to come up with their own custom questions that AI tools are going to struggle with that they can't fix? And if you don't know, AI tools are great at answering basic lead code questions that they have basically that they have been trained on but they do struggle if any of the variables in the questions are changed for example four plus five is nine ai tools can answer that but they will struggle if you ask them five plus four which is basically the same question of course i am oversimplifying here but you get the idea as you can see there is demand for what roy is offering here by the amount of people that are actually paying to get this tool and 
I am really, really interested to see how this changes if if it does the whole technical interview process. Yeah, we are definitely getting into a whole new crazy territory. All I'm going to say is don't get caught and don't get yourself blacklisted. And that is all I have for today. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.